Hey, how you guys doing? This is William Myers, Manus Outdoors, back at you with another video. And today we're gonna do a video about a certain plant, tree, bush, it's all three basically, but it's a myrrh honeysuckle, so don't go away. scan around this area you can see all around this area circling me and my camp is the same plant bush whatever you want to call it uh, <clears throat> you can see other trees in here but you don't see very much else other than this particular wood right here and I'm sure you guys have seen this before and might not know what it was you know this stuff usually is really dead on makes decent firewood not bad other than that it's not really good for much it's not great for carving it splinters out too much it's got a decent little pith in it that you can char but other than that it's really not good for much else it's like I said it's really not good for carving or making very much out of but it's a myrrh honeysuckle it's literally one of the most evasive species of anything in the world I mean it's right up there with like poison hemlock and other super invasive species especially in here in Ohio so like I said if you just do a 360 pan around my camp here it's all you see it's all that you see you know and that is it's just really not good you know this plant will choke out pretty much anything that it, it gets in it's just voracious and it spreads like wildfire. So, you know, I, every now and then when I'm doing videos, you'll see me cutting trees down. Um, you'll see me working with certain woods and stuff like that. It's not always this wood. It is some other stuff that I don't care to cut down. Uh, but if you see me cutting stuff like this down, it's because I want to. You know, the, the Ohio Department of Natural Resources tries their best to handle this stuff. Some areas that they don't get into, this stuff takes over like this area and literally nothing else can survive. You know, it just, it takes over and kills pretty much everything else. Every tree that's around here, except for your really big hardy trees are dead falling, already on the ground. You know, that's one ash tree. You know, there's some trees over there that are a little bit bigger, more hardy. But other than that, you can see nobody comes back here. You know, I'm, I'm a decent tracker. I would know if somebody came back here. Nobody's been back here in a very, very long time. There's nothing on the ground even because this is one of the first plants to bud in the summertime. So it will have its foliage on it and blocking seeds from getting sun and, and nutrients before they even have a, time, a chance to start. The only thing really that you'll see around here is like sphagnum moss and things like that. So again, just if you see me cutting down trees, it's not always a bad thing. I and mean, to me, it's never a bad thing because when I'll cut down trees, I'll cut down saplings that are choking other saplings out, things like that. You get what I'm saying. But I wanted to raise awareness to this plant, especially a myrrh honeysuckle. All right, guys, so let's take a close look at this plant, shrub, bush, tree. This bark is pretty noticeable. Doesn't look like really anything else in the woods. And as you can see, this place is just absolutely surrounding, surrounded by this stuff. And then even when this stuff is alive, it just breaks like crazy. You can't even build anything with this stuff half the time because you whisper to it and it breaks in half. There's some more. I mean, it's everywhere around here. you see that background there's only a couple trees in that background that is not a myrrh honeysuckle it's just everywhere 
Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I definitely wanted to bring this plant to your attention. Hopefully you imprint that to, me to memory so whenever you are in your personal space, you'll recognize this and you know feel free to just hack the hell out of it because this stuff is incredibly voraciously invasive. So burn it, carve with it, use it however you can. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, clicking subscribe down below and liking the video helps me and my channel out a lot. You can click that bell icon and that'll notify you when I do a new video. Um, if you feel like supporting the channel and me, you can go to buy me a coffee. The links to that will be in the description down below. Absolutely ha don't have to. Um, I, my content's free to watch as much as you want, but YouTube isn't exactly what it used to be these days. We've all heard that uh, many times from other YouTubers. So if you feel like supporting the channel, you can go to buy me a coffee, support the channel there. Uh, I also have a merchandise shop where you can go. It's uh, bonfire.com, Manus Outdoors, something like that. Links for that will be in the description down below. If you want to pick up some merchandise, Manus Outdoors merchandise that is, I have a couple different styles of shirts, hoodies, things like that in there. So if you feel like it, head over to that bonfire store. Links in the description down below. Pick up some Manus Outdoors merch. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully we'll see you out in the woods. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Just wanted to bring this to you guys as a... Uh, uh, <laughs> three, two, one. So, you know, head on over to that bonfire store, pick you up some Manus Outdoors. Uh, there's so many outtakes. Three, <laughs> two, one. Again, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, ah, shit. Three, two, one. If you feel like it, go and run over there, pick you up some merchandise. Merch. Merch. <laughs> just say, say merch, merch. Bro, you, Three. You just go 